Praise the Lord. That time if you would get your Bibles, my friend. Amen. Stand to your feet, amen, and let's turn our attention, amen, to the 27th division of Psalm, the 27th division of Psalm. Praise the Lord. We will focus on verse 1, verse 7, verse 13, and verse 14. Again, that's Psalm 27, verses 1, 7, 13, and 14. And the scripture reads, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I fear. be afraid? Verse 7 says, hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. me. Glory to God. Verse 13 says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Verse 14 says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall what? Strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say. Wait, I say. On the Lord. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we love you, we appreciate you, we give you praise, we give you thanks again for this wonderful, marvelous, and magnificent day that you have blessed us with. A day that is loaded with benefits so that we will not go lacking in anything. Now, Lord God, if we make ready to receive your word, I pray and ask that you open up our hearts, our minds, and our understanding. Now, that we may receive your word and receive it with gladness. And having received it, O oh Lord God, that we act upon it and do all that you have commanded of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. Glory to God. I want to continue. Amen. Where we left last. Amen. With the subject of stay faithful. While you are waiting, stay faithful while you are waiting. Praise the Lord. We have already discussed the fact that things uh, don't always go our way. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. Adversity is going to come. I don't care how saved you are, adversity is going to come. What we need to know is how to deal with it when. Uh, it comes, isn't that right? Amen. And let me tell you, my friend, that these are not the best of times. Can I get a witness? Amen. In which we live, amen. We're dealing with the pandemic, amen. Gas prices are soaring. My God, the cost of living is ever increasing. And it seems that the world itself has gone mad. Amen. Glory to God. Just completely yeah. mad. Amen. Seems like all the news now is relatively bad news. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Amen. Things are getting worse, uh, even more so as the end of the world approaching. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. People are just plagued with problems. Mm. My God, just plagued with problems. Amen. And some of us don't rightly know what to do. Isn't that right? Yeah. Amen. We're looking for answers. We're searching for answers. Amen. Some of us are dealing with actually real problems and situations where some of us right now are just merely dealing with simple annoyance. Isn't that right? Amen. But I'm aware that there are things that will come against some of us. Amen. And it will rock our world. Isn't that right? and cause us to become totally unstable, my God. And if we are going to cope, my friend, I suggest we do two things that are of utmost importance, uh, and that is to live right and to pray. Can I get a witness? <laughs> Amen. We got to live right and we have to pray. As I said before, some folks just don't pray enough. Isn't that right? 
Amen. They wait until trouble comes uh, and then they want the whole world praying uh, for them. Amen. And what's amazing about all of this uh, is that they are always absent from prayer meeting. Can I get a witness? Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, my friend, faith is playing by the rules. Amen. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, faith mm -hmm. is playing uh, by the rules, amen, and one rule is, amen, according to Hebrew 1025, uh, amen, is not forsaken the assembling uh, of ourselves together as the matter of some is. Uh, uh, but on the other hand, we should be exhorting one another, isn't that right? Amen, so much the more uh, as we see the day approaching, isn't that right? Uh, Amen. It doesn't matter, amen, what means of assembling, uh, amen, that is being used or offered, uh, amen, we should be present. So, isn't that right? Amen. Whether it's live in church bodily, amen, whether amen is over the internet virtually or what have you, whether it's down by the river, amen, down by the seashore, down by the ocean, amen, under the big tree, the small tree, the other tree, wherever we are assembling, we should be there. Can I get a witness? Amen. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, because we are the church and we have been called uh, to assemble. Am I right about it? Amen. So if you are going to exhort me, uh, then pray for me. Isn't that right? Uh, amen. Let us pray together. Uh, amen. And lift up one another while we both wait on uh, the Lord. Uh, that sounds all right to you? Amen. Let's do it together. Amen. Again, in verse 1. Uh, Amen. David expresses his confidence uh, by saying that the Lord is my light uh, and my salvation. Isn't that right? Amen. I don't have to walk in darkness. I don't have to live in darkness. Uh, I don't have to live with the fear of being lost. Uh, amen. But God is my light uh, and my salvation. He said, whom? Shall I fear? My God, my God, the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? My friend, I submit to you today what a declarative. Oh, my God, my God, what a statement of confidence and faith in God. Oh, God. And so we find in verse 7, uh, amen, David gives us his own example uh, as he cries out to God for mercy and deliverance. Uh, listen to what he said. He said, hear, O oh Lord, hear, O oh Lord, when I cry with somebody else's voice. No, he said, when I cry with my voice, uh, my God, hear me, God, when I cry with my voice, and then have mercy upon who? Amen. Me. And then I want you to do what? Answer me. Amen. When I cry, when I pray, Lord God, I uh, uh, have mercy upon me, and then answer me. And so God answers to David. God had an answer for David. Uh, amen. In verse Eight. Amen. How many know God answer prayers? Amen. amen. When we call out to him, amen, Holy glory to God. When we pray with our own voice and ask him to answer us, amen. And so God in turn answered David. And so in verse 8, he says to David, basically, seek my face. Oh, yes. He said, then, he said, when thou sayest, seek you my face. He said, my heart said unto thee, thou face, Lord, Will I seek? Amen. When God told David to seek his faith, David in turn said, yes, Lord, I will seek your face. Ah, oh, yeah, amen. This ain't no one-way conversation, you see. Glory to God. Amen. No, oh, this ain't no two-way. It, it, it got to be to God and from God. Amen. From you to God and from God to you. Isn't that right? Amen. So if we're going to be faithful, my friend, while we are waiting on God, Amen. Glory to God. Amen. For God is our deliverance. Isn't that right? Amen. So we're waiting on him to be, so we can be delivered. And if we want to wait on him, I start by to tell you today that we got to play by the rules. 
we got to play by the rules, amen. And so the rule says uh, to see his face. Oh, uh, that's what the rule says. Uh, see his face. My God, amen. Folks wanting prayer, folks wanting deliverance, amen. Folks wanting a blessing, uh, but they don't want to be saved. That's not playing by the rule. You can't want all of these things when you don't want to be saved. Amen. That's not playing by the rule. Amen. They don't want to call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. They don't want to labor in prayer and walk in righteousness. If you don't want to do that, my friend, you're not playing by the rule. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. We have got to play by the rules. And let me tell you, my friend, uh, that you can't rewrite the rules mm. uh, to fit your situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, folks want to rewrite the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in a fit their yeah. situation, we can't do that. That's not the way it works. Isn't that right? Amen. Glory to God. Taking a little of this and then taking a little of that. Amen. Whatever suits our fancy. Okay. <laughs> My God, my God, amen. The attitudes and ways of folks can be so disturbing sometimes. My God, my God, they don't want to eat the whole road. We got to eat the whole road. Can I, uh, can I just say that? Uh, amen. Glory to God. I think Paul says, uh, amen, that he had fought a good fight. He had fought a good fight. Why? Because he played. By the rules. Paul said he finished his course. Why? Because he played by the rules. Huh? He said he has kept the faith. Why? Because he played by the rules. <laughs> you ain't going to win no game not playing by the rules. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Cheetahs don't win. Nope. Glory to God. You get caught sooner or later if you think you're going to win. Glory to God. You just can't make stuff up. Nope. I, 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 I listen to people sometimes, I'm just surprised and appalled at their thinking, amen. They just want to reshape God's word to fit them. Yes. How can you do that? Just reshape it to fit you in your situation. <laughs> That's not playing by the rules. My God, my God, I could stay here all day, but I specifically want to direct your attention to the last two verses. Amen. Verses 13 and verse 14. Is that all right? Look in verse 13. David showed the immeasurable value of faith. The immeasurable value of faith. Amen. Look, David would have fainted. Amen. Glory to God. He would have fainted. That is to say, uh, he would have given up completely. That's what that means. I had fainted unless. See, I would have. But he said, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land where? Well, of the living. Praise the Lord. Amen. He would have given up completely had he not believed to see the salvation of the Lord in the land of the living. David had to play by the rules of faith. Oh, yeah, he would have given up. Oh, but he said, no, no, no. <laughs> by, by faith, I'm going to wait and see, amen, the salvation of the Lord in the land of the living. I'm going to wait and I'm going to see it. My God, that's the value of immeasurable faith. In other words, uh, he would have stopped praying and, uh, and simply accepted his faith. You ever known people like that? They just give up and say, well, oh, well, whatever. Oh, whatever happens. They just accept their faith the way it is without fighting. My God, without standing on the promise of God, without walking in faith. Can I get a witness? Amen. It was only David's absolute confidence in God and God's word that kept him praying and crying out to the Lord while he was waiting on his deliverance. We got to wait. And we got to play by the rules while we're waiting. Can I get a witness? Give the Lord a praise in here. <laughs> and so then the rule says, y'all ready for this? 
The rule said that we don't give up. Right. There are options, but it is not an option for the saints of God. The rule said don't give up. My God, my God, no matter what, we stay in the fight. Why? Because faith is believing. Isn't that right? Yeah. Amen. And that is believing unceasingly. My God, without stopping, we stay in the fight until we see his salvation, until we receive our deliverance. Whatever we're waiting on, we stay in the fight. Glory to God, we remain faithful. Listen, David was standing behind the shield of faith. Amen, as spoken of in Ephesians 6, 16. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. He was standing behind that shield. Amen. Glory to God. And you know, amen, the word said, above all, taking the shield of faith. Above all, after you have put on all of your arm, he said, now take the shield of faith and hold it high over your arm. That's what that means. Praise the Lord. Above all, above all the armor that you are wearing, man. take the shield of faith. Why? Amen. Wherewith you shall be able to quench the fiery dust of the wicked. Isn't that good news? Amen. The shield of faith, my friend, is powerful. Tell your name, it's powerful. It's powerful. <laughs> oh, yes, it's powerful. Amen. It covers your whole armor and then it weakens the dust of the wicked. Good God Almighty. So that your armor will not be pierced. Lord God, that much. We walk by faith and not by sight. David was not doubtful. David was not doubtful. Amen. Nor was he looking at circumstances. Amen. For by faith he knew how the situation would turn out. How many of you know how the situation is going to turn out? Huh? Oh, God, I just don't know. I'm with all things work to the good. <laughs> I don't know how I look. I don't know how it's going to shape up in the end. I just know it's going to work for my good. It's going to be good. That's all we need to know. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Praise the Lord. I don't know what I have exactly what I asked for, but it's going to be good. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to get it but guess what it's going to be good <laughs> why because I love God <laughs> it's going to be good good God almighty my God amen faith is playing by the rules huh? amen David knew the God of Abraham he knew the God of Isaac he knew the God of uh, of Jacob, did he not? Amen. And he was convinced, somebody said convinced. convinced. Amen. That God was more than able to deliver him. Well, we got a lot of convincing for ourselves, don't we? <laughs> Glory to God. So we won't be so beaten and trodden down. Amen. Looking like we don't have a friend in the world. Glory to God. We got to know and be confident of this fact. My God, my God. His faith was the substance and the only needed evidence of what God would do for him. My friend, faith is praying by the rule. They may note now, again, that only faith stood between victory and misery for David. Amen. God remains the same and his power to deliver remains the same, it has not changed, amen, but it is our faith or the lack of faith, isn't that right, amen, that determines the deliverance that we receive or do not receive from God. My God, my God, amen, not only must we have faith, but we must wait on the Lord. We must wait on the Lord. Now verse 14 says, verse 14 says, that should give you a clue. Amen. That I'm winding up here. Amen. Verse 14 says to do what? Amen. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. 
Isn't that right? And be what? Be of good courage while you're waiting. Wait on him. I don't care what you're going through. Wait on him. And then while you're waiting, be of good courage because you're going to have to encourage someone else while you're going through with what you're going through. Absolutely. Be of good courage, he said. And he shall do what? Strengthen your heart. Wait, I say. <laughs> On the Lord, listen, the Hebrew word for wait carries two meanings. Mm -hmm. It carries two meanings. It means to wait or look eagerly for. Yeah, you know when we wait on something, we're going to get something. How we eagerly wait on it. In fact, we get so eager, we get anxious. <laughs> when is it going to get here? <laughs> when can I have it? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. It means to eagerly wait for or look for. Secondly, it means to collect or bind together. To collect or bind together. And it is this binding together, my friend, that gives us our strength. Amen. That's why the writing, amen, and Isaiah said, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. So you don't have to stand up on your own huh, when you wrap, twist, and bind yourself together with God. Amen. Glory to God. Muhammad Ali, when it was a cast of clay, gave us a prime example of that. He was always on the ropes, resting. Yep. <laughs> While his opponent beating and swinging at him, wearing himself down, he was on the ropes, resting, <laughs> chilling. And when his opponent wore himself down, he just stepped off the rope, <laughs> all refreshed and renewed, amen, and brought him down. Yeah. But that's about to tell us to wait on God, twist and tie ourselves, bind ourselves together in him, and then our strength will be renewed. Isn't that right? For they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. During the times of hardship, my friend, we must remain steadfast. I don't care what we're going through. We must remain steadfast. Giving up is not an option. Can I get a witness? Uh, we must not move away from the mental position of absolute confidence. We must not. We must not move away from the position of a complete surrendering of the situation uh, into God's hand. We've got to give it to him. We got to give it to him, my God, my God. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes. We must not move, amen, glory to God. We have to simply wait. Tell your neighbor, wait, wait, just wait. wait. Amen. We got to maintain our stability, amen, and see the salvation of God in our lives, <laughs> just as David did. David said, I would have prayed, but faith and belief. Kept me in the fight. I was determined to see the salvation of God in the land of the living. My God, my God. So don't let the passing of time uh, fool you into thinking that deliverance is not coming. Don't let that happen. Because see, time will fool you, won't it? Yeah. Oh, it's been so many years. I don't guess it's going to happen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And some of you may feel better since you gave up hope. <laughs> that should not be. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. If you are standing on the word, you will still have God's promise. If you are standing on the word, listen, the God of eternity operates outside of time. That's right. How many of you believe that? Yes. He operates outside of time. He never gets in a hurry. No, he doesn't. Huh? He, he, he never needs to. You already studied that in, in your Bible class lesson. Amen. Glory to God. They needed Jesus there last of the house in a hurry when he was sick. Jesus took his sweet time. Yes, he did. In fact, when he got there, he made sure that that fellow was dead. <laughs> he don't operate on our time. Praise the Lord. Because he can do whatever he wants to do it when he wants to do it. He don't care if your situation is putrid. He don't care if your situation is stinking. He don't care if it's filled with maggots. He will bring it back and renew it in his time. 
<laughs> what a mighty God we serve. Can you see that? Can you feel that? Amen. He, he, he doesn't need to rush. He doesn't need to operate in our time. Amen. And one thing we can be sure of is this. If God promised it, he will do it. Isn't that something? So my friend, remember, God had promised Abraham a son, did he not? And though it was more than 25 years before the promise was fulfilled. Isn't that something? Glory to God. Amen. The word said that Abraham staggered not at the promise of God. He was believing one moment since the root, not believing the next moment. Up one moment and down the next. The Bible said he didn't stagger. Glory to God like some drunk. Amen. He didn't stagger. Amen. At the promise of God through unbelief. Amen. But the Bible said he was strong in faith. Strong in faith. Wait on the Lord, I say. Wait on the Lord. Amen. Pour yourself together. And maintain a steady course of progression uh, in your life. Play by the rules, I tell you. Play by the rules. Give God some praise up in here. Amen. Glory to God. You want to know what you do while you're waiting on the Lord, while you're waiting on your deliverance? Play by the rules. <laughs> Play by the rules. Amen. And watch God work and move uh, in your life. Stand to your feet. Glory to God. God's been good to us. But we got to play by the rule. When we leave this earth, we want somebody to say he fought a good fight. And before we leave, we ourselves ought to say, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. And I've kept the faith. How do I know? Because I'll play by the rule. When we lay down that night, we should inventory our day. And ask ourselves, did I in fact play by the root? And when we wake up in the morning, we wake up with a mindset. I'm going to play by the root. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we love you. We appreciate you. Lord God, we give you praise. We give you thanks again for who you are in our lives, oh Lord God. And I pray today. Lord God, my God, give us the mindset that we ourselves, uh, as individual, Lord God, should call on you, should seek your face and cry out to you, O oh Lord God, uh, that you may answer us, my God, and keep us in the faith, Lord God, uh, uh, that we may see your salvation, your deliverance, uh, while in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, touch each and every one in here under the sound of my voice. Whatever they may be going through, whatever they may be experiencing, Lord God, to help them to realize that quitting is not an option for the believer. Amen. But we ought to stand firmly in the faith, having put on the whole armor, my God, to stand in the name of Jesus. Whatever we stand in the need of, Lord God. I know that you are more than able to meet those needs. Help us, Lord God, to simply surrender them on to you as we continue to twist and tie and bind ourselves together in you that we may have that rest and that assurance that we need. These are many blessings we pray in your precious name. Amen and amen. Give the Lord a praise. Amen. Thank God for you. Love you, appreciate you. Amen. Glory to God.